Hello, welcome to my presentation on cash aided modulation for heterogeneous coded caching over Gaussian broadcast channel. My name is Moshkan Bayat, and this work is jointly done with Dr. Wan, Professor Yi, and Professor Kaire. So first I will introduce MAN scheme which is coded caching scheme and I will talk about the setting in this work and I will show how we extend their setting to Gaussian broadcast channel and then I will show some simulation result. Matt Dalian Nissen proposed coded caching scheme in reference one which we will refer to it as MAN scheme. In their setting, they have a server which has access to library of n files. Each of files has equal lengths. And this server is connected through shared error free link to k user. And each user has a cache memory size m. In coded caching scheme, there is two phases, placement and delivery. In placement, each user without knowing future demand, they fill up their cache up to their size. And then in delivery, each user requests a file and server by using a create a broadcast a multicast message. Here in this work, we would like, unlike the MAN scheme, consider non-error free links, which means uh, we will have signal YK in the receiver, which is the uh, noisy version of the receive signal with SINR gamma K. And new K is just noise. And we also would like to consider heterogeneous network, which means we will have a different cache sizes at user and different file sizes in the library. Let's say we have library W contain n files and each file has size fi and total library size is b bits and user have a different cache sizes too we denote the normalized cache size with mu k here we would like by using modulation and embed that one with coded caching in order to reduce error probability for some users so here is a, there is a toy example. As you see, we have two files in our library, A with nine bits and B with three bits. Consider we have two users, they can cache up to five bits. Now, each user randomly cache from these two files. Let's say the part it cached in user one is A1 from file A, a2 is the bits cached in user 2, 1 and 2 is cached in both of them, and A0 is cached in none of them. So let's say this is a realization of this uh, caching step, and we consider the last one is null. And same way for B, we consider a realization like here. So in placement phase, which is the first step in MAN scheme, for example, Z1 will contain A1 and B1, and Z2 contain A2 and B2. So in the second phase, each user requests the file. Let's say user uh, 1 requests file A, user 2 requests file B. So here the, in the delivery phase, we create a multicast message P, which is useful for user 1, 2 in the same time by XORing A2 and B1. So as you see here, user 1 has B1 in its cache content. So it can remove this one and decode A2. And similarly, user 2 can decode from this message B1. And the, another point here is uh, A2 has three bits and the second subfile has two bits. So when the length is not equal, we pad this one to zero. So here, let's say we use eight PSK modulation to transmit this signal. Now, if we look at user two, because 
user two has the longest file in its cache content in this multicast message, which is A2, and only wants to decode B1. So it means from, he knows this longest file, which means in the P12, he knows the most left bit is zero in advance, even before decoding. But uh, this user one doesn't have this knowledge. Here our goal is to design the constellation of 8P which help us to reduce error probability for user two because user two knows one bit from the message. Let's say most left bit is zero. So we want to map the code words as far as we can. The one or the zero in the left. It will be this blue point. When user two receive a message P12, it knows already the left bit is zero. It should map this received signal to one of these blue points. Provide for use to user two longer minimum distance or lower error probability than user one. For example, user one doesn't know any bits. It needs to map the receive signal to one of these eight uh, points in our constellation. Now we will move to uh, formulate this problem in a nice way. As I said, man scheme has two phases, placement and delivery. In the placement, each user fills up their cache with this many bits from file WI. And then in delivery phase, let's say we want to create multicast message for user in set S. This set S has a length of T plus one, where T is the coded caching gain. Now here, if we look, each of these user has a missing subfile, which is W, DK, and this one. If you see here, so it might be because the library files are different lengths, this one has a different length. So it means we take the maximum between the missing subfile lengths. And also we would like to use two power of M PSK modulation. We need to divide these bits to blocks of M bits. So let's say we in total, we will have NS block to transmit the code word S. Here, each uh, subfile, uh, missing subfile, which we want in future to XOR together, we divide it to NS blocks and denote the block I message uh, with uh, subscription I. Now, what we do, coded multicast message for user in set uh, S in block I will be XOR of the corresponding subfiles. Now this one has a M bits, we can use PSK modulation and map it to one of the points of our constellation and transmit it over Gaussian broadcast channel. So this figure uh, here uh, will compare our scheme, uh, which is reduce the error probability for some users versus the one of the literature works, which is a uh, conventional zero padding for coded caching network with the uh, different cache sizes or different file sizes. So let's say we have two, two files in our library, A and B. Here, uh, what zero padding do, be let's say we want to use eight PSK. It takes first three bits from the first message and then XOR it with first three bits from the second file. And for second block, it takes the second uh, three bits from file A and from file two, there is no bit, so it will be zero. And we continue until we finished all bits. But in our scheme, we do differently. We divide B to as many blocks as A. And in the first message, coded multicast message for user one, two, in block one, we XOR A uh, three bits from A with first bit of 
second file and path to zero other one and until we finish all blocks so the difference is here you see in our scheme if the user is interested to code this shorter file it knows already two bits in advance so it will reduce the error probability for that user but the, in the zero padding scheme user don't have this uh, advantage because it needs to decode all three bits so we can uh, calculate error probability to decoding one message first we have uh, error probability of the psk modulation and we will replace this deeming by deeming of knowing n bits in advance from our constellation points for out of n bits in same way we can calculate the error probability for qua now let's say uh, we want to mess send the message S in uh, S number of blocks. So we can calculate pro error probability for user K to decode multicast message PS in each blocks, like PEKS. Now we will have, we can calculate also the useful number of blocks when we are sending a multicast message to set S and calculate it as LK. So the average uh, total number of symbols who got errored and it was useful for user K, it can calculate by SK, which is the sum, average sum uh, of this error probability. We take average also over all coded multicast message. So it means this summation is over S2. Now here uh, our performance matrix is symbol error rate which is shown by T bar. Here we take the number of symbols encoded multicast message PS which got errored for user K and denoted by SK. So this SK we show in whole scheme how many symbols got errored for user K. And LK is the number of useful symbols uh, from all transmitted coded multicast message. So we normalize that one and average over all user. In our scheme, we have proved that our scheme achieved lower or equal uncoded symbol error rate than zero padding scheme. Here is, uh, there is some simulation result. Uh, we consider here three users with different cache sizes. User one has the lowest number of uh, size of cache memory and user three has the largest cache memory. So in our scheme, user three will have the maximum minimum distance and lowest error probability and then user two which is shown with black color and user one and zero padding scheme for other schemes it will be here also in this figure you see average uncoded symbol error rate versus sanr uh, for our scheme which is black and zero padding which is shown with green color Again, you see on average our scheme is doing much better than uh, conventional zero padding. So uh, in summary, we introduce coded caching scheme. We address following issues in coded caching, non-error free links, and heterogeneous network. We design a physical layer scheme to embed coded caching with modulation. Our proposed scheme improved the average symbol error rate compared to conventional scheme. And one extension of this work can be, instead of using uncoded symbol error rate, we introduce coded symbol error rate. Thanks a lot for your attention.